Hey, how's it going? My name is Angela. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you for joining me again. I am the host of the Honey and Hustle video podcast, which is also hosted here on this channel if you want to check it out. And today we are going to talk about Google Meet. As a Google groupie, you already know I'm excited to talk about the new feature that they've added for everyone who has a Google account, which is the ability to record meetings. Why are we just now getting this, first of all? <laughs> but secondly, um, will it be useful for podcasters? For me, as a video podcaster, whenever I create a calendar invite for a guest, I do so in Google Calendar, and it's just so easy to say, add a Google Meet, you know, link, uh, which is super convenient. And now for you to be able to use that link uh, to record episodes is incredible. But can it stack up to all the other video interview or video meeting recording platforms that are out there? That's what question we're gonna to try to answer today. For those of you who maybe are not Google groupies and don't use Google as often, Google Meet allows you to record meetings that are in either 360p or 720p. You also have access to a chat, you have access to screen sharing, all those nice features that you know, you know and love now in Zoom which um, not the greatest platform <laughs> for recording. Uh, the quality isn't super great. Um, it, you know, it's not great. <laughs> the audio isn't great in Zoom. Uh, there's, there's a lot to be um, desired in Zoom uh, that may or may not be able to be met in Google Meet. I personally prefer Google Meet, um, but it is also hard to say that it stacks up against something like Riverside or Squadcast or Zencaster. There's a lot of different apps. But uh, one of the main things I would say that's really important to me as a video podcaster is how can I get the best quality possible, right? Um, and so while things like Squadcast or Riverside say that they can record up to 4K, the reality is you also need to have a camera that can record in 4K. And webcam cameras that record in 4K, not the cheapest. Um, and then also, like, let's say you want to use a DSLR as your main camera, that's also an investment, right? So when it comes to having the ability to do that in Google Meet, I did some research, and you can record in up to 4K, or I think 1080p at least, using their own specific um, cameras and tech gear that they've created for Google Meet specifically. How much is it, you ask? The starting package is almost $3,000. <laughs> That's not accessible. I personally do not see myself spending $3,000 for something that is specifically only usable for Google Meet. Yeah, that's probably just not happening, if I'm being honest. Um, I would. It's much easier for me to use my camera as my camcorder, and it did not cost me $3,000, and I can get um, a much more uh, repeatable quality out of that across other mediums as well, and other use cases. I think it's good. I think it's good that they've added that recording feature, and if you're not using it, using the video portion of it, you probably don't care about that anyway. You're probably just like, yo, this is a really good way for me to record an audio interview that I'm using for my podcast. But if you're a video podcaster, if you know it's it's free, number one, it's still free. Um, so it's accessible if you're just starting out and you're just like, how can I get going the fastest and most efficient way? Hands down, that's the best way to do it in my opinion. If I was starting from scratch and doing a remote video podcast only, a thousand percent I'd be using Google Meet. Um, but if you want something a little bit higher quality, and that's going to give you a little, a few more features that are going to be podcast specific, like the ability to upload, you know, videos or ad reads or um, anything like that. I do think that there are better platforms out there for video podcasters. Are they the best for you? That's the question for you to decide on where you, are, based on where you are in your journey as a podcaster or video podcaster. But at least you know there's a new resource, and I hope this is helpful for you. I would love to hear what you're using now, whether or not you're going to consider using Google Meet. For your podcast and uh, what the name of your podcast is. Just tell me all the things in the comments. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about podcasting and video podcasting. I'll see you guys in the next video.